Hey guys, today is Wednesday, and as you can see, I'm making a new fashion statement. Mm. One tied one way, one the other. Yeah, I've been videoing this. I've been in the hospital since, I don't remember, you know, Monday morning, I think, I think Monday morning. I've been keeping it all videoed on my phone, everything that's been going on. I don't have time to put all that together right now because I'm still in the hospital. I'm not at home. But I was sitting here bored, waiting on more tests, and so I said I'd just do a quick one. So I was at work. I hadn't been at work long, and I had um, I got real bad chest pain just right here, like somebody was standing on me. And then it went up my neck, and it was at my back. So I went in my boss's office and she took my blood pressure and it was so high she just kept sitting there taking it over and over and it was just sky high so I went ahead and called the ambulance came up here to this hospital my husband met me up here and I've been up here ever since they have ruled out um, they have ruled out uh, sorry they ruled out a blood clot to my lung, a torn aorta. Um, they, I did not have a heart attack. All my enzymes were good. But I was supposed to go down this morning for them to do the catheter, where they run the, the catheter up to your heart with that light and the dye to make sure you don't have a blockage. And I was supposed to do that this morning. It's 1.15. That hasn't happened. And at 1.30, they were supposed to run the light down my throat because they wanted to check out my stomach and my stomach lining. Well, that doctor is here, but she can't do it until I get the catheter run to my heart because my heart doctor wants that done first before anything else is done. I've got all these little pieces and in-betweens and things that's been happening and all of the test results they've been running. Like I said, they're in little snips on my phone. But um, they've been wonderful. I mean, from the time I got in the ambulance and told them I had lupus to the time I got in the mercy room and told them I had lupus, it was as if it was a common name and they all knew what it was. I was very surprised. Uh, my doctor that was on call, uh, my doctor that was on call from the heart center, they're just all together and they're very good. And he said, well, because you have lupus, we need to check for, um, we need to check for this and this and for blood clots in your lungs and this could be happening. I mean, he didn't leave anything untouched. It was really good. I've had a whole lot of sodium metrol. I've been giving shots of um, Benadryl and sodium metrol every morning and every night. I'm up to about 250 milligrams of the steroids and they're doing that because I have so many allergies and they've been running so many tests with dyes and stuff they didn't want me to have in a reaction so they're automatically giving it to me every morning every night now everybody knows how that is um, I am I've been doing fine haven't had any setbacks they've been taking very good care of me I got the best nurses in the world up here so I'm very lucky. God's taking good care of me. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. I really am not worried. I'm just hungry right now. I'm so hungry. So I have my hands in a ponytail. But I'm very, very hungry. Um, I have slept so much, which I really needed to sleep. But now I want to get the test done so I can go home. My husband hadn't left my side, but about... Two hours yesterday, I sent him home for some stuff I needed. Other than that, he's been the best. But I hope that everybody out there is doing good. I hope that everything is getting... Uh, I know every, but some people are ha still having their own sickness and their own stuff they're trying to figure out. Do Oh, my cholesterol was real high, like 200. And I think he started me on Crestor. Does that sound right? 
Anyway, we'll deal with all that when we get out of here because that's another video. I don't want to keep this one too long. I just want to tell everybody thank you and um, I appreciate any prayers or thoughts that you send my way because God has really kept me peaceful. I'm not upset and not worried. And so I will talk to you guys later. It's, it's Wednesday and now they're talking about me staying till tomorrow me to get the catheter done today going up to my heart because he thinks that the x-ray might have showed a blockage so he wants to clear that out he wants to make sure there is one and they're saying now I may have to stay to Lamar to get the scope run down my throat because the timing has been off today on everything but anyway I will talk to you guys later